Hey loves, I'm so excited about today's video. I barely can believe this is happening, this is real. Look at that. I just got a mail from YouTube and I still barely can believe this is real. Um, and this is my last video of the year as well, which makes it even more special. This timing is crazy. It was such a successful year. I'm so thankful for a million things and we're gonna talk about that later in this video. I just can't wait to unbox this with you guys. It's a YouTube award uh, that I received from YouTube for my 100,000 followers that I got. I remember sitting on this couch with my boyfriend uh, beginning of the year and I told him that my goal of the year was reaching the 100,000 followers by the end of 2022. And he literally said like, okay, if that's gonna happen, I'm gonna eat my shoe. Like we both had no idea that this was a realistic goal, right? And I'm just so, so excited about this and I'm, I still find it very weird. And I'm very, very, very thankful for you guys because obviously I would not have sit here with this thing in my hands without you. So, ah, okay, well, I can keep talking, but I think it's just time to unpack this box. So there we go. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, there's a letter. I'm so excited about this. Guys, this is so cool. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, almost staring here. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, I wanna unpack it. <gasps> wow, it's so thick. Oh my god. My boyfriend is like asking me every day, where do you want to hang it on the wall? Where do you want to have the awards? He's so proud. Oh, this is so sick. Oh my god, guys. And my name is written here, written here. Oh my God, this is so cool. I mean, <laughs> thank you guys. I mean, this is because of you. When I started YouTube, I didn't even know that it was possible to reach this many people around the world. And I just started during COVID because I was just at home. I could not travel for modeling anymore. And during my career, um, I always got so many questions like, oh my God, you should like start YouTube and share all of your tips and, and take us with you for fashion weeks and stuff. And I never really took the time for it to really start doing that. And during COVID, I was like, okay, just, you know, let's see if people like to see it. And, and then I just got a lot of questions like what workouts do you do so I'm like okay I'm just gonna post like a, a workout video like just how I do it myself at home and that was such a success and that's how it kept growing and growing and honestly I also started YouTube partly because I was having my lifestyle coaching and I was thinking like how could people see me as the person I am and with my energy and with my uh, with the things I, I would love to say and with things I would love to share like how, where can I share that and where can I share my voice and my personality and it's just amazing to see that you can actually help people so I read all of your DMs I read all of your comments and I really try to get back to all of you um, but know that I'm reading all these amazing texts that you've been sending me and I'm just so happy to be part of your journey if you're on this journey for a healthy lifestyle, if you're on this journey to be a model or what it might be the reason that you're following me. I'm here for you and I'm so glad to inspire you through all of this. Ah! So thank you so much. I'm happy I didn't cry <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep it there. Ah! I'm so hot right now. I'm never hot. <laughs> okay, so. Onto the little Q&A 
about the year that I made for this video uh, because it's the last video of the year and um, I think it's just really really great to look back at the year and to look forward for the next year and to talk about these things with you guys so let's get started so the first question that I had that I thought was really fun to answer is my three biggest achievements uh, when it comes to work of the year I mean, first of all, look at this, <laughs> my 100,000 subscribers for sure. Then another big, big thing that happened this year for me was my um, first collaboration with Vogue Taiwan. You know, as a model, it's, it's such an amazing thing to shoot for Vogue and to be in a magazine of Vogue or be on the socials of Vogue. It's like, Vogue is like the queen of fashion, I would say, right? And then this year, something, even crazier happened to me, I feel, because yeah, Vogue wants to have this collaboration with me and not really as a model, but as myself. So we did an interview and me and my close friend, we made photos for an interview and the article was actually about me uh, sharing my story. I mean, Vogue is a goal for everyone in fashion, and but for me, the combination of my story as a lifestyle coach and fashion and me being able to answer questions about lifestyle and health and things that are important for me like that was crazy that was really really such a big achievement too and then a third thing that i'm very very proud of this year is my partnership with dog pound you all might know dog pound uh, as the celebrity gym in la and new york and one day they reached out to me by email and um that they were interested to partner up with me and work on some great projects together and that's where i'm now working on a lot too and i've opened up my socials in asia um, and that goes crazy well too so this year just was a lot i feel <laughs> what was your greatest travel for work this year that was definitely my trip to Paris and New York, um, my two favorite cities. I go there a few times every year for work. Um, but in the beginning of this year, Dirk was joining me, my boyfriend, and that was just super special to be able to work in these cities, live in these cities, um, but having my boyfriend with me for a longer time. He usually comes a lot, a lot of times with me to Paris. It's super close to where we live in the Netherlands. Um, but then now this time he came also two weeks to New York and that was just really special to actually show him what my life looked like over there. So I'm very, very thankful that we could do that together in the beginning of this year. Then another question is the lesson that I learned this year. I feel like I learned a lot, a lot, a lot of things this year, um, as I feel like I always say in the end of the year. Since I'm also focusing a lot on self-development and on seeing what I need and my priorities and, you know, growing as a person. Um, but this year, a lot of things happen. And also on personal level, I really learned that there will always be better times after hard times and there will always be worse times after great times. So life just throws things at you as well and um you cannot you know you cannot influence everything that's going to happen to you and yeah i also really learned that life is not only about beautiful amazing things but life is also about very very hard things like health that is not always how you want your health to be or um the fact that everyone on this planet at one point is going to die i we all know this, but sometimes I just don't realize it and we all live our lives and we all uh, just run and run and I want to do this in the future and I want to have this in the future and I want to work on this next year, but you never know what life throws at you. And that sometimes is still like a thing that I find very hard to accept. <laughs> but yeah, then as well, I know that a human being is very strong and we can all survive a lot of things that you think you might not be able to survive so and I would love to hear your lesson that you learned this year um, and share it in my comments and we can all learn from it as well so that would be really amazing then my top favorite workouts of last year oh 
this is so hard. Okay, so I'm gonna choose five. This is so hard, but visible ab lines and lower abs. Dog pound, Victoria's Secret legs and booty with resistance bands. Slim triceps and biceps. No push-ups. Um, small waist and flat stomach. And lean legs and hips from my seven day challenge, slim legs. Yeah, oh, so hard. Then another great question is, um, Personal things I want to work on this year. For me, it's setting my boundaries um, for work, like making actual times I'm gonna work and I'm gonna relax. Like when you have your own business, it's quite hard to... Oh my God, I'm looking at this thing all the time in the screen. Um, yeah, but when you have your own business, you, you can keep working. There's always something to work on and I love work, but I think it's important to also really make sure I have my relaxation. Because right now I have my uh, lifestyle coaching clients, which give me the best energy. I can work on them 24 seven. Um, I have YouTube, I have my Asian channels and I have my model career still. So it's quite a lot of things that I have to catch up on. Um, so yeah, I hope next year that I will actually make, give myself some extra times I need to work and not overwork too much. That's one thing I wanna work on. And I would love to invest even more time in my inner circle. Um, I've been traveling so, so much in the past 10 years that I feel like I'm missing a lot of things. I did miss a lot of things. You know, the last years I am in this luxury position that I can kind of pick things that I want to do for modeling and travels that I want to do or not want to do. And right now I'm just trying to really find a balance in still doing all the things that give me a lot of energy like traveling working all that kind of stuff but also i find it the older i get very important to stay at home and spend time with my family friends and boyfriend a lot so yeah i'm trying to find a great balance in that and i feel like this year was really good on that perspective and i hope next year will be even better and then the last really great question is what are you the most proud of on yourself this year and that is probably the fact that i grow my own business till the point it is now and that i actually can help a lot of women and girls all over the world with my channels but also um, probably where I'm even more proud of is my personal lifestyle coaching uh, wherein I help a lot of women and girls one-on-one -on -one towards their health journey and lifestyle journey and relationship with food and achieving the goals they've been wanting to achieve for a long time and I, I really think it's so so amazing that I am able to do this and that I can help and inspire these women and girls and the fact that I could Finally, after years of modeling, uh, years of studying, can combine all the things that I learned from my experiences and from my school and studies and my personality on top of that, that I finally can combine everything and that it actually works out. So that's just something I'm very, very, very thankful and proud of. So... I guess this is the end of the video. I can keep talking, I can keep looking at this thing. I just cannot believe this actually just happened. And I'm very, very excited about this. Ah! Thank you guys so much. This would never have happened without you. And I want to wish you a super, super happy new year. A lot of health, happiness, love strength, confidence, self-esteem, peace. I want to wish you all the best. I just can't wait for everything that's coming next year and I just can't wait to share all the things that are happening with you guys. I love you and thank you so much. Ah! <laughs>